What up all you beautiful people, welcome to another I.O. Response. Of course, I'm Leroy. And I'm Michael McCrudden, and we've got some crazy comments from you guys. A lot of crazy videos this week. You forgot to introduce the ghost, Mike. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Uh, he's so cool, isn't he? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Danny was supposed to be sitting there, but he uh, he's a no-show. What the hell? Who knows? He's new. He hasn't figured yeah. it out yet. So our most popular videos this week, we had man buns. Apparently, they're going out of style, and they're also bad for your health. Hey, whoa. Oh. Man buns? Men are getting buns nowadays? Yeah, Like man. booties? Man booties? No. Well, I, I, sometimes you can see a man bun from the behind and, and, and a nice butt and be like, that's a hot chick. And then you're like, no! Oh, it's a guy. Yeah. Another popular video was uh, this suicide bomber out in Syria. Uh, tragic stuff. Yeah, the guy that didn't want to blow himself up, but they're telling him, go blow yourself up. You're going to be in paradise if you kill yourself. <laughs> Crazy. It takes all sorts. Uh -oh. And then finally, uh, Sandra and Amber did a video about the world's biggest cyst getting popped. Oh, that is nasty. Don't play the video. We're going to watch it. Oh, We're no. We're going to watch it. Don't watch it. Don't play it. Don't watch it. <laughs> I'm going to make him watch it right here on IO Response. Let's jump no. through it. All your comments, guys. Write me out. Is it gone? No, we're doing this. <laughs> uh, unknown one said, "Io, congrats on 600,000 subscribers." Ooh, they are right. That is a, a big a accomplishment. huge milestone there. Um, all right, so let's. Talk. I asked them in the vid. No, no, no. Sandra and Amber asked them in a video. What is the most disgusting thing that that the, you guys have ever seen? We had Kevin Ketos. He saw two Korean people gonna kiss, and then they vomited on each other. Oh no, that's. Dirty. Okay. Um, oh, uh, how does that? Well, how does that even happen? What's the dirtiest thing you've seen, Mike? Oh, oh man. Um, I've done dirty things. <laughs> don't don't, don't, even have to don't want to know see that. Them. Um, okay, fine. I'll share a story. So first thing, um, I remember this. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind was uh, my uh, cousin was like, "Yo, yo, yo, Leroy, look at this, look at this." So I was like, "What is this?" Then I see um, he plays this video, Two Girls, One Cup." Yep. And I didn't know what it was. I dove. I flew away. I was like, what is this? That segues into Start our next comment. Uh, Kenneth Tapu went on to say the grossest thing I saw was people eating poo. Oh, and wiping no. it all on their birthday soup. That's and nasty. And being sick on each other. That is nasty. I think they also watched uh, yeah. One Girl, Two Cup. <laughs> two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, he probably voluntarily did it. I was tricked into watching it. Oh, my god! I remember oh. that one. That was all the rage. Uh... Ah! You just had me thinking about <laughs> it. At P120890, I'm eating while watching this and I had no problem. I can watch people eat Fear Factor style and I wouldn't lose my hunger. Show uh, off. Crazy. <laughs> so this was about Amber and Sandra together watching this cyst being popped. Do you want to watch it no, real quick? No, please. I have the video actually ready. It's almost as bad as Two Girls One Cup. I'm pressing play right now, Leroy. Here it is. She was more than thrilled to help this lady out with her procedure. She had to use a sharp scalpel to cut the skin before removing the disgusting pus and skin that had been building up for 20 years. Damn! <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> I'm not looking. Oh my goodness. I'm not looking. It's one of those like car accidents. You can't help but look at it. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Nope. Riley Yarson went on to say, for some reason, Sandra Matos and Amber Smith look like sisters. I don't know why. Maybe they are sisters. Maybe, probably. Sisters from another mister. Yeah. Like yeah. brothers from another mother. That would be crazy if they you met know, here on IO or their dad was watching IO. I know exactly. Like, they found each other. <laughs> So our second news story, it's all about man bun. This hairstyle leads to you going bald. The condition which causes acute baldness around the forehead and temples is a direct result of hairstyles that pull the hair over long periods of time. Sullivan claims that this is because all this tightness pulls on the hair follicles, which can lead to follicle deaths. Man bun. Would you ever grow one out, Leroy? I don't know. I had long hair, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I'm kind of losing my hair anyways. <laughs> can you do those like... Uh, Braids? Yeah, bits? corn rolls, they were like single plaits. I was like a rude boy back in the day, man. I like that look. <laughs> like Chief Keef has it and uh, I don't know, a bunch of rappers. Wiz Khalifa. Uh, who's the net? Travis Scott, he does as well. Yeah. I like that look. Uh, well, Johnny Lamar, he said his favorite hairstyle is short and standing up in the front. Anyone else? Yeah, you got me, bro. This is Short like the typical up white the boy. What does that even mean? You know, they're like the pecker they give you at the, the oh, very front. Oh, yes. I, okay, I got it. I got it. It's Sorry. Every yeah. white guy gets it on like September yeah. before they go to school for the haircut. Uh, Eric Cartman went on to say, my favorite is probably loose, long hair, neck length, but that's because I look weird with short hair in, uh, in real life. 
Uh, then John Tibbetts went on to say, Eric Cartman, me too. I always fall in the awkward stage of growing my hair out. These guys yeah. had their own like little conversation. I know, there. in the comment section. Eric like Cartman went community. on to say, I've survived the awkward stage and I've recently come out of it. Dan, that was a hard time. I don't know. I just find it weird people have relationships in there. Like, man, they're friends. Um, the mullet was popular with Cardboard 10. And finally, Chloe Flynn, your hairstyle is my favorite of all time, Sasha. Sasha, Sasha a, does have cool hair. It, man, it changes every day. I all come the in time. Here. I can't keep up. No. And yeah. now with the lipstick and the nail polish. She's styling. Every She's day styling. is uh, a new experience. We actually have a big, a big weekend coming up with oh, Sasha. Oh, shoot. Yeah, she's getting married. That's right. So, wish her congratulations down below in the comments. Uh, what, what do you say when you get married? Happy wedding? Happy, happy marriage? Happy rest of your life. Happy rest of your life? Yeah. Like, happy birthdays, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Happy Halloween. Happy marriage? <laughs> Sasha, if you're watching this Works for photo. Me. Seeing as we're giving away happies, let's jump into some uh, birthday shoutouts. I'm gonna let yeah. you take over here. Jane Arkansas, aka Jane the Killer. Oh my gosh. Your birthday is October 4th, this Sunday. Cool. Happy birthday. Don't awesome. kill no one. You're gonna watch this just the day before your birthday, so that's perfect. Yeah. There you go. Mike is so hot. Hello. <laughs> I just squeezed that one in. That's there. not a birthday I shout out. I squeezed that one in there. Thank oh. you. From Love Attic Animal 69. I appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, he's kind of hot. Ah, oh. man. Ah. Janine Ahmed turns 20 on October 16th. Very cool. Wow. 20 years old. You're out of the teens. That's cool. That's awesome. Mm hmm. Flora Empson says, my birthday is in three days, October 3rd, I'm going to be 10. Wow. So happy belated birthday and people nine years old watch I.O.? That's young. That's really young. Are, you, are they even allowed to have a YouTube account? I think the age is like 13 years old. You can get they one. snuck on here? Oh Probably. My Born in 2005. Wow. She's a rebel. That awesome. Yeah, Stay cool. Very cool. <laughs> And our final one comes from Eric Ilzesen. My birthday is exactly in a week, turning 16 on October 7th. So, so happy birthday when it comes. Talking so much here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's cool. Happy birthday shout out to you. And finally, Amber Smith, our very own. Oh, it's yeah. her birthday today on October 1st. Um, so happy birthday to Amber. Final news story, it was the most popular one of the week, this suicide bomber, man. A young guy forced into giving up his life for his religion, for his rebel community. Uh, a tank drove off into the sunset and blew up a Syrian town. So this is Jafar al Tayyar. Now he was ordered to drive an armored vehicle into the village of Fua. And of course it was a one way mission because he was told to detonate the explosives while still inside the vehicle. Now before he did this he was supported by his other jihadist militants. They were all sitting there patting him on the back and giving him hugs. Yeah, it's crazy, man. When you hear stuff like that, you know, suicide, bombing, like, you believe that you're doing such a good thing in killing yourselves and killing other people. Yeah, and when he was crying, he was, uh, he was fearful that he wasn't going to succeed. He wasn't, yeah, uh, he's probably fearful for the pain and the, and the loss of life. Yeah, of course, because nobody really wants to die, right? Yeah, the like, brainwashing is so deep. Yeah, it's so huge, but it, he ended up carrying out his mission, mm. and he ended up dying, and... That's that. So we had a comment from Nazima Urgasada. Uh, she's from Uzbekistan, where this story was from, or the same town this young man was from. Wow. And that was a real mind bender for me that we have viewers that are somehow related to you know this, this part of the world where this the Syrian crisis is going on. That is really eye opening to yeah. to us, you know. And then lands of treasure. They had their opinion on all this. This is stupid. I'm Muslim, by the way, and our religion doesn't support these acts. 
you know, uh, we're just reporting on the news, guys. We try and uh, keep it open and, and, and broad, and everyone can make their own opinions on things. Exactly, we don't exactly. Take stance on what's right and wrong or, or whatnot. Right, but um, we also understand too. Just gotta throw it out there that okay, we understand that bad people exist. Period, regardless of your religion, your um, ethnicity, race, whatever, gender. Um, bad people just exist. It just so happened that this guy was under the umbrella of Muslim and he did it. So, yeah. yeah. Moving on from that, finally, someone Jazzy Fizzle wanted to know uh, what part of Canada we live in. We're in Toronto. Toronto. We're Toronto. The best city in the world. Oh. Yeah. Would you think so? But I have to say it because I'm living in Toronto, yeah. basically. I've been to Paris. I didn't like it, so I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we're up there. All right, guys, that's all we got for you today. We try and go through all the comments. Believe it or not, we actually read all of them every day. Every single one. It's a full-time job. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so you don't get sleep, neither do we. Uh, but thank you so much. We hope we got back to a lot of you, and we will get to the rest of you in future episodes here on I Response. My name is Michael McCrudden. And I'm Leroy. And Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to him. <laughs> Bye, ghost. Bye. Hey, I see. Yeah, that was him. Whoa. <laughs> Later. Enjoy the weekend.